use the self-leveling, you need to make sure the nose of the van is pointing downwards. Then you come to the control panel inside. You've got on and off on this control panel, and to put the legs down, you press auto. And as you can see, the legs will start coming down. The ram's in the centre first. I don't know if you can see them on the video. Just there, coming down to the ground. Then the rest of the van will level up as it needs to. So as you can see now I've done the self leveling. The green dot has appeared in the centre so the caravan is level and straight. So I'm just going to go inside the van now. Let me just pull the door shut behind me. So, inside the van, the first control panel we come to is the mains power, which is on one of these switches just here. There we go. All the lighting has now come on internally. Above that, you've got your Audi control panel, so you press the power button, and that'll wake up as it needs to. But below that, we've got... Let me get this video to clear up a bit. Do apologise. On this control panel here, you've got power for your water pump. You've got internal run which as you can see, the internal water pump is now running, so that will fill the onboard water tank. If I go to external, it will fill from the aqua roll on the outside of the caravan. Whichever tank you're using, you will need to have the taps open, whether it be the sink, the bathroom, or the shower. You'll need to have all of them open so they bleed through the system completely. Once you've done that, you can go onto your mains control panel, or your heating control panel, you can hit menu. At the top here, minus or plus for your internal temperature. Below that, you've got water temperature, so you've got on and boost when you're showering. You've also then got the amount of power coming to the caravan, so if you caravan before, this is essentially the same as the uh, Truma system. It's got 500, 1000 and 2000 watts, so 1000, 2000, 3000. For now, we're going to leave it on 1000. And if you want to run the heating on gas, you'll simply hit the gas option at the bottom and that will self-ignite on gas. Going around the caravan, you've got the fridge, which is very easy to use. You've got power on. At the moment, it's trying to ignite on gas, so it will self-ignite on gas. And if it doesn't ignite, it will flash blue here and flash red on the exclamation mark on this side. If it does ignite, you've got the temperature control just here. Mains power won't work at the moment due to the fact we're not connected to mains, but I will be in a moment. So we're now connected to mains power. And you can see here that it's now flashing to warm it. It hasn't gone on to mains power. As I said, we're not connected at the moment, so it won't do that at the moment. To control the temperature, again, use this button here. If you want to use 12 volt for towing, again, we're not connected to 12 volt. But as you can see, it's flashing here to let me know we're not connected. So you'll be able to use the fridge as a cool box while you're traveling. Inside the fridge, you've got your door latch, so you press that in and pull it out for the winter latch and push it in when you want to store, uh, have the fridge door shut. Simple so far. At the back of the van underneath the bed, you will actually find the onboard water tank, which is just down here. And down the side of it, that little blue valve there, that is actually the drain down valve for the onboard water tank in this corner. So you just open that valve up and it will drain that tank completely. To fill it, you need to make sure that valve is shut. Toilet system itself. You've got a flush on the wall. And then you've got your flap for your waist at the bottom. Shower operates like a normal shower. Down the front of the van, I'm not 100% sure where it is, but we'll find it now. I'm hoping it's in this corner. You will find your mains water tank, uh, or your hot water tank. To drain the hot water tank down, or to fill it, you've got this valve just here. So if I open that up, that will drain the water out of the system. And if it's shut, you'll be able to fill the system. So this position's fill, the raised position empty. And I'm just going to drain that off now. Down here as well, you've got an emergency retract for all your jack legs. I don't 
recommend you press this button too often, but if you do ever need it to emergency get the leg legs up, you can press the button just there. The tele system, on and off on the controller as you'd expect, and then you've got your wiring there to connect to different options inside the caravan. The air conditioning unit, you've got a controller here, so you've got power on. As you can see, at the moment it won't do it because we're not connected to mains at the moment. We've got modes going through, your different options, whether it be recycle, air conditioning, heat or auto. To turn it back off, you press the button on the controller. I hope this video has been of some help. If you've got any other questions, please do give us a call on 01933 682 888. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.